what is unitary method? The matter in which first finding the value of one item and then using that to find the value of many items. The word unitary is derived from the word unit, which means one. So unitary method is a method when we find the value of one item and then using that we'll find the value of many items. For example, if five pens cost 50 rupees, how much does one pen cost? So one pen will cost 10 rupees. For that, division operation is used. 50 divided by 5 gives 10. How much would 8 pens cost? We have the cost of one pen which is 10 and the 8 pens cost will be 80. And the operation used here is multiply 8 multiply 10 is 80. So first to find the value of one item we divide and to find the value of many items from one we multiply. So the rules for unitary method. If cost of many things is given and we are going to find the cost of one item from that then the operation will be division used. If cost of one item is given and we have to find the cost of many items then the multiplication operation will be used. Let's see an example. If 5 chairs cost rupees 650, what is the cost of 12 such chairs? If 5 chairs cost this much, cost of 12 chairs. For that, we need to find the value of one chair. What is the cost of one chair? So, the first statement will be cost of 5 chairs is rupees 650. First, we'll find the cost of one chair. When we have the cost of one chair, then we can easily find the cost of 12 chairs. So, cost of one chair, finding the value of one, always divide. Cost of one chair equal to 650 divided by 5. We can do cutting here. 650 by 5. 5 ones are 5. 5 one thirty is 650. And cost of one chair is rupees 130 rupees. Now we have the cost of one chair which is rupees 130. Cost of 12 chairs will be 12 multiply 130. So the answer is 1560. Therefore cost of 12 chairs is rupees 1560 rupees. So the concept is first find the cost of one chair or the one value. Divide or for many you will multiply. Let's see one more example. If, if 20 ice cream cones cost Rs. 248, find the cost of 8 ice cream cones. We have the cost of 20 ice cream cones and find the cost of 8 ice cream cones. For that, again, we need to find out what is the cost of 1 ice cream cone. So, finding the value of 1 will divide. So, first statement, cost of 20 ice cream cones is rupees 248. Here cones is missing. You can write cones here. So we have the cost of 20 ice cream cones. Cost of one ice cream cone will be 248 divided by 20. So to find the cost of one item, divide 248 with 20. And you can do the cutting 248 by 20. And we'll go with 4 5s are 20, 4 62s are 248. So the fraction is 62 by 5. Rupees is the cost for the one ice cream cone. Now we have the cost of one ice cream. We can find the cost of eight ice creams. From one, when we are finding many, we multiply. So cost of eight ice cream cones will be 62 by 5 multiply 8. And we'll get 496 by 5 rupees. We can divide and the answer will be in decimal that is the cost of 9 ice cream cones will be 99.20 rupees. So, 99.20 is the cost of 8 ice cream cones. So, the simple concept. First, find the cost of one item. Divide. Then, find the cost of many items by multiplying. This way, we can find out the values. So, let's revise the simple steps. Finding the value of one item, divide. 
finding the value of many items from one item always multiply this exercise is for you to solve if 15 candles cost rupees 30 what is the cost of 5 candles solve this here also you need to find out the value or the cost of one item that is one candle and then you can find the cost of 5 candles by multiplying first divide then multiply and find out the answer thank you for watching please subscribe and like and don't forget to hit the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming videos